And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Mavericks leading by three. On the court for the Suns. Bledsoe and I to the backcourt. Stauskas is out there with Booker. And it's Hickson. And at the five, home in the paint. Bledsoe against Nelson. Marion outside. Here's Nowitzki, just five on the clock. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And this has been purely a display of offense that we're seeing here today. And you know, it's only getting better as both of these teams' defenses are starting to show signs of wearing down. Out to the right wing. Here's Booker. And a miss there on the triple. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, and as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. Suns trail by five. Stauskas kicks tonight. Hickson wide open. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Big shot. As soon as he got an opening, boy, did he let it fly. Dallas shooting a scorching 68% in the game. Nelson kicks to Nowitzki. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, he's got to take care of the ball much better than he has to. By himself, he's accounted for four turnovers. That's way too many. Robinson's checked in for Booker. And it's Bledsoe off the drive. Inside. Out tonight. Bledsoe outside. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. You know, and after fighting to get back into it, that was the chance there to tie it up. But you know what? You know, they've come this far. They're not going away now. Nelson against Bloodsoe. Take a look at what Nelson's done. Nine points, and from long range, he's hit. One three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a suspicion he's going to have a few more. A different look for Dallas. Carly Stein, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Slim comes in for Sean Marion. And it's Ellis in for Vince Carter. Both free throws good for Nelson. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. Yeah, taking full advantage from the charity stripe. They've yet to miss here in the second. Nelson against Bloodsoe. Outside Knight. Picks in a screen. It's Knight with the drive. Excellent use of the screen that time. Knight's got 23 points. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Feeds it to Nelson. Stolen by Bloodsoe. And oh, here we go with Bloodsoe. Nobody back. Drops in the breakaway layup. Well, you talk about clutch plays, defensively and offensively. We saw both right there. And the gap's narrowing right now, Clark. Every second from here on out counts. Neither team can afford to make mistakes. You've got to manage the clock and play smart. Nelson, the pass to Ellis. Shot clock at six. Fires from the wing. They get it again. Nowitzki. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow just like he got there. And the Suns call time. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Larry Drew said to his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? And as always, Doris, thank you. For Dallas, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Here's Larkin. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And the Mavericks lead by three. He's so tough to guard. He can fake you one way and then just spin right by you. Knight on the wing. To the inside. 
Another one falls for Phoenix. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. To the middle. Here's Cauley Stein, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. And at this stage of a tight game, the tired legs really start to show. A defense becomes vulnerable if you can continue to pound it inside. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Here's Larkin. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. You look at what Larkin has done so far. He's got 14 oh, points yeah. and nine assists. No idea we see a performance like this one today. The only way to describe it in my vocabulary is dominant. Booker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Suns trail by three. Robinson sets a screen for Bloodsoe. Inside, and it's blocked. Here's Larkin. Stolen by Bloodsoe. And here's the fast break. Knight leading the way. And good on the basket. Book it. And that's how you take the steal and turn it into a transition opportunity. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover, strike right away because the defense has no chance to get organized. To the left side wing for three. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. Defensively, they can't afford to back off of him that much. You don't want to be giving up easy threes, especially at this stage of the game. And Bledsoe, here we go. No good. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Larkin. Crawley Stein kicks to Ellis. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Larkin, guarded by Bledsoe. Good! And it's a five-point Maverick lead. Very well-executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Knight against Ellis. Knight kicks to Bledsoe. Rocket six. All alone. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Cauley Stein's got his third rebound on the night. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. Suns trail by five. And Booker kicks to Bloodsoe. Ellis against Knight. It's deflected. 137 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Larkin. Guarded by Bledsoe. Larkin dishes to Crawley Scott. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Mavericks. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond, and they've made this thing look easy. You no know, mistakes there. Good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. And the Suns call time here. They're trailing by seven. A minute 20 left to play in the final quarter.
Wudzo left side. Got that one up quick. Wudzo's got six in the quarter. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Stolen by Robinson. And Phoenix pushing it up now. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Brandon Knight. So far, going for more of an inside game here in this second half, and I like that. A little smash-mouth basketball, taking it inside. Here's Larkin. Shot clock at five. Dallas needs to get off a shot. His ball distribution tonight, just as good as it gets. Yeah, it sure has been. I mean, all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. Knight passes to Bledsoe. Buries it! And he has brought them to within two points. Somebody stirred up Eric Bledsoe. He's rolling. Clark, a big-time possession here. I'll tell you what, their hearts have to be racing right now. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Ellis. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It goes on Brandon Knight. Okay. He drops the first one and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good. It's a four-point ball game. Outstanding work at the foul line to make this a two-possession game. Phoenix calls timeout. They're down by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That is what's your take? Yeah, coaches tell them take the easy points in a hurry and then foul as soon as possible. Yeah, but you don't want to foul blindly, though. I think teams make a mistake when they do that. Go for the steal. See if you can force a mistake. And then see what happens after that. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. And taken away by Ellis. And that's an intentional foul. He hits the first one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And there's the pass to Q. He feeds it to Stauskas. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. Misses. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. Some good moments throughout. Monte, this was a nice one. How does it feel to come out with this win tonight? That was great. Uh, we were sloppy at that time, I think. Didn't really get into our sets like we should, and you know they stuck around. But other than that, we got the win. Found a way, you know, to come out with one, and you know, go to practice tomorrow and fix and correct everything that we messed up on today. Way to hang tough, Monte. Thank you, Kevin. All right, Doris. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. And now a chance to check out some of the uh, tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. How'd you feel about his performance? Kevin? I think his efficiency from the field was the biggest factor in this win. He made over 60% of his shots. I don't care if you're playing one-on-one -on -one or one-on-five. That is a great percentage. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, aren't he? Too many levels. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille...